Hey everybody, tap tap here. So the uh, Valentine's Day update finally came out through, and I think it's just went to everybody. It seems like there was a beta that where just a few people got it, and now pretty much everybody got it on uh, today on the on the eleventh. So a little less messy of a rollout than uh, than the last event. That's right, Parker. So there are thirteen new fish. Um, only one of them is premium, as usual. Um, it's a much more reasonable one this time. It's just ten bucks. I, it's, it's still not necessary. It, it doesn't unlock anything. Um, Abyssinium is on the decent side of things, where, like, none of the free content really requires any of the paid content. So if you don't want to pay, just, you know, don't. It's not really a big deal. Um, so there's the, the heart sunfish is the paid one. Um, we're just going to ignore that one. There are a bunch of normal ones, um, Heart Angel, Pink Juvenile, Penny at Spadefish, the Heart Sea Dragon, Pink Striped Marlin, if you're having issues getting the normal Marlin, that's, you know, almost as good, right? There's a Gift Box Turtle for getting 20 fish. Um, this event, I believe, costs the total, somebody calculated it, Parker, please, at about um, 36,000 candies, which is just a bit more than half of what the Christmas one required and prices in general are lower so it's less of a grind so that's good to hear because the Christmas event was a bit ridiculous uh, there's the turtle, there's the pink jellyfish which uh, is one of my favorites from this one, there's a gift box dolphin which is one of my least favorites um, it's the heart ray and the heart whale, the whale as always is the get all of the event fish and uh, the most expensive one, it's sort of the crowning achievement there's four hidden ones in this event, I don't have most of them yet myself. They, they're they very time-based, unfortunately. There's the uh, pink grouper. For that one, you need to watch 10 ads for uh, candies, just like, uh, I think, the Dumbo Octopus or something for a uh, Halloween. Um, that one's a little bit buggy. It uh, comes kind of late for people. You wanna, you'll want you probably watch a few extra and, you know, just, just be patient and it'll eventually come. Um... The pink whale shark requires sharing a picture of every other possible Valentine's fish, um, which is ten. You basically need to get every other hidden fish except for itself and the whale. Um, share a picture of all of them. My cat is, like, biting my phone. Um, but yeah, just take a picture of all of these other fish, including... You, you don't have to get the uh, whale, because that's impossible at that point, or the uh, sunfish. But uh, just take a picture and share it. Share in quotes. Um, there's the Dumbo, gift box Dumbo Octopus, which is kind of the worst fish in here. Um, it's extremely buggy, and what you need to do is play for 2 hours and 14 minutes. I'm pretty sure that means having the game in the foreground. Um, and then it kind of doesn't unlock for most people. Um, what people have said sometimes works is to go into the, uh, friends menu, um, go to somebody's tank, like we're gonna go to the default friend Kim here. Um... And, uh, yeah, it, it's supposed to work, but I, I mean, some people reported it works. Um, some other people have reported going to the VR setting and the camera works. Um, it, it just seems really buggy and inconsistent. And, uh, I don't know if they're going to fix that or what. Um, and, uh, let's go back to that. Parker, you're making this difficult. Um... And then there's the gift box dolphin is also a hidden fish. Um, for this one, this one's really silly. Um, so to get that one, what you need to do is go to this friends menu. And you mash your finger tapping that gift box at the bottom there. Where it says friendship point, just tap that 50 times. Leave this menu. And it'll be there. It's very silly and I don't know how anybody even <laughs> found that out. Um, to get candies, as usual, you just need to cast Song of the Moon and it'll multiply the amount. Um, for this event, the mauve stinger jellyfish is actually better than the seahorses, because they kind of broke the seahorses AI, and they wander back behind the core light, so I just use the seahorses, lower the menu down, so you can actually tap them, and it's just the standard stuff as far as collecting candies are going. Um, I think you can get around a thousand candies per go this with this method, and you only need, you know, 36 thousand so that's about 36 goes of song of the moon not too bad um all of your candies from the previous events stay for this 
So I had 60,000, so I just went and bought pretty much everything I could immediately. Um, there's also theme items. So there's the really stupid looking Cupid you can get there for the core light. All of the core light costumes aren't very good in my opinion. Um, there's this rose garden, which is pretty tame as well. It just puts some roses on there and everything else is white and looks kind of like bleached coral, which isn't really too nice in my opinion. And then there's this Night of Valentine's Sky, which is not too bad. Um, it's got, you know, fireworks in the background. Uh, the Night of Valentine's Sky is 5,000 candies. This one is 1,500, and the stupid costume is only 500, fortunately. Um, I tend to get the costumes even if I don't really use them. Um, yeah, not... As far as events go, I'd say this is in the middle. The Christmas one was way too grindy. This one, um, I think it's a little bit more grindy than the Halloween one, but, uh, it's not too bad. The one thing is it's a shame there's no, like, all of the fish are, you know, palette swaps of existing fish. So there's no real existing, you know, real fish. But, uh, I like the Heart Sea Dragon. Uh, if you like pink, this will be a very good event for you. Uh, the gift box, box ones look really stupid. I'm glad there's only two of those. Those those just look ridiculous. Um, the heart ray <laughs> looks kind of really weird, but um, interesting. And yeah, like I said, if, if you don't, if you want a marlin, th there you go. Much easier to get this marlin than the other one. Um, that's pretty much it for this event. It's we don't know when it'll end. It's a little weird. We got advanced warning with the Christmas event. Um, I would guess two weeks after Valentine's Day is when it'll go away. That does still make it, I think, the, the shortest event we've had. But uh, the other events always ended, like, two weeks after the event or the, um, you know, the actual event or the day of the event they're celebrating. So that would be a good guess. Two weeks or three weeks total is uh, plenty of time to get these, assuming you have Song of the Moon. If you don't have a Song of the Moon, you know, just keep progressing normally. Um, as always, if you're wondering how to find new fish, uh, hidden fish, go on my guide. It's uh, Just search Sir Tap Tap Abyssrium on Google, you'll find it. Uh, there'll be a link in the description as always. Uh, just go to sirtaptap.com. Um, I always keep it updated. I've, pretty much every time there's been a new update, I have all of the fish within you know 24 hours. Um, yeah, and if if my stuff helps you, uh, do consider checking out my Patreon. Um, I have pictures of Parker, who's this very cute cat that is annoying me right now. Yes, you are. Um, I give uh, a monthly uh, photo album of Parker pictures to all my patrons. Uh, you can help me pay for my server, uh, recording equipment, stuff like that. Um, the server got pretty expensive after the Christmas event kind of melted down my server, but... Uh, it's going really strong, and the traffic is the strongest it's ever been today, and uh, it's not even breaking a sweat. I My new server is really good. It's just, you know, pretty expensive, but, uh, yeah. Hi, Parky. Yes. I'll let you listen to Parker purr for a second. That's how we'll end the video. But I hope you can hear that. <laughs> he, he loves when I talk. Anyway, that is the Halloween, or the Valentine's Day event. Um... They announced this one a little bit in advance, and they're still kind of bad at up keeping us up to date, so we don't really know when the next event's going to be. We don't even know when this one's going to end. Um, but uh, for now, it's it's something to do.